Professor Ulle Kjempe, member of the Nobel Committee, can you summarize what this year's Nobel Prize was awarded for? What it was won for? awarded for? <laughs> it was awarded for microRNA and the way microRNA uh, is a new layer in gene regulation, Create, creating a, a network that makes gene regulation much more robust. MicroRNA is a kind of a complex uh, uh, concept for most of us. Could you please uh, uh, explain it a bit more in detail? So this was discovered, the first microRNA, by Victor Ambrose in 1993. But it was thought to be an oddity peculiar to a small worm, the C. elegans, for more than seven years until Gary Rudkin Ravkin uh, detected the second microRNA, LET7. And then it sort of, the field exploded. And now more than tens of thousands of microRNAs have been identified in different organisms. So it's been evolutionarily conserved over several hundred million years and present in almost all animals. So it must be important, right? And the, the importance is to create this very robust network. So each microRNA, which is a tiny molecule, binds to several mRNAs. mRNAs is the intermediate between our genes and our proteins. So it takes the information from the gene and makes the protein. But then it's modulated by this microRNA network. And this was a finding that was completely unexpected. No one thought, everyone thought the major problem in gene regulation had already been solved. But it's just the last 10, 20 years we understand there, there is a different layer that is equally important. How does the discovery affect our daily lives? Well, it affects our daily life in the way that as researchers, we have a much better understanding how cells work. And we can see that in many tumors, if not most tumors, the microRNA networks are perturbed. So the tumor takes advantage of this and, and tries to take away, delete microRNA genes or, or silence them. We, we, we don't have yet any way to treat these disorders where microRNA networks are perturbed, but we hope that someday that will come. It's the knowledge that is the important. So, uh, if I understand it correctly, there are no, no clear medical applications yet, but That's in the future. Correct. There might be in the future, and there might be special cases. So, some tumors delete the microRNAs, others mutate them, but there are also other mechanisms that, like increasing a protein that is RNA binding, that binds up, and then you can have a specific mechanism to silence that RNA binding protein. So if we turn to this year's laureates, Victor Ambrose and Gary Rubkin, uh, could you please tell us a little bit about them? Well, they are born 1952 and 1953. They uh, did their postdoctoral um, experience in the same lab with a former Nobel Prize laureate, Robert Horwitz. Um, but after that, they went to Harvard University and Harvard Medical School, respectively, and set up their own labs and worked on different aspects of microRNA regulation. So Victor Ambrose was the first one to clone a microRNA, and Radkin, he cloned the second one, and he was the one to propose that the regulation was at the mRNA level. So they, they made different, but they haven't collaborated a lot after the postdoctoral work as much uh, as I know. Um, but they did actually share some data between them. Yes. 
they did. And that was the key to, to, to this Nobel Prize, that they, they met and shared information and could see that the LIN4 gene actually matched a complementary sequence of LIN14. And then this concept of the regulation at the mRNA level and not only at the gene level was born. And I understand that Thomas Perlman was able to get in touch with at least one of them. Yeah, Gary Rutkin, he, he answered very early in the morning, I think four o'clock their time. Was his wife, in fact, who, uh, according to Thomas, who uh, answered. And uh, well, I guess his, his wife became happier than he, but. <laughs> Looking forward to coming to Stockholm. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, uh, could you please tell me in 30 seconds, why are you excited by this year's prize? I think it's one of the big Nobel Prizes because it's a completely new physiological mechanism that no one expected, completely out of the blue. And it shows that curiosity research is very important. They were looking at two worms that looked a bit funny and decided to understand why. And then they discovered a new, entirely new mechanism for gene regulation. I think that's beautiful. Professor Ole Kempe, thank you very much for guiding us through this year's Medicine Prize. Thank you for having me.